Hi, everybody. <laughs> I have been reading your chats that you've been having before going live, and it's been cracking me up. You guys are just the best. And thank you all for being on here tonight. I am coming to you from, let's see if I can do this. I am coming to you from Nevada. Tell me where you're at tonight. I see Adventures with Jane, and I bet they're in Michigan. And I don't know if you guys can see it in that picture or not, but let me see if I can blow that. No, I can't blow that picture up. But Bandit has his tongue stuck out in that picture. Is that not the most hilarious thing? He, he's like, I'm tired of being in photos. Are you guys, are you guys still there? I think Bandit, I'm going to blame it on Bandit. I think Bandit hit a button. Is it okay if I blame my dog? No, I really do think that's what happened. He's all squirmy, and uh, can y'all hear him? He's just grumble butt, um, and I don't know why. He's just being that way, but I just want to say thank you to everybody for getting me to 10,000. You guys rock. I am just so, so, so happy, um, and um, <laughs> I wish y'all could say, I'm going to do that again. And let y'all y'all see Bandit. Y'all 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 watch Bandit. Hold on. <laughs> I can't do this. I am having trouble tonight. Y'all can y'all see Bandit? Watch him. <laughs> He's trying to figure out where that's coming from, and it's because we are um, celebrating having ten thousand subscribers. I am so excited. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. It's just, it's been a long time coming. And I know a lot of people have put their channels up and, and got there faster than me. But I guarantee you, nobody's had a better time than me. And I just have the best viewers in the world. And uh, so thank you all so much. Can't do it without my viewers. And I can't do it without my patrons. And I want to welcome uh, my new patrons this week, Verlene Subla and Sharonica. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. And Beth, look at my, Beth Stamper is on here. And she gave me this necklace I'm wearing. And Bandit loves it too. He keeps trying to, he keeps trying to stick his nose in the, in the, in the, um, in my necklace. So thank you for my necklace, Beth. I love it. I wear it all the time. And at 10,100 subscribers. Oh, good. See, I haven't even I haven't even looked today to know what I'm up to. But I just appreciate you guys so much. And thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, uh, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe. And ring that bell so that you get notified of new videos. And um, so I am going to... Uh, our topics tonight are... Um, I'm going to talk about, like this week, I've had a duct tape and AC repair and a mobile mechanic coming out. And you guys, it, the, the um, I tell you what, the repairs and, the, and, and in home improvements, it's the same for anybody that buys a new home. It just kind of goes on infinitum, and it's not that anything's wrong with the rig. Y'all know I love my home, and, and uh, T Tiki, was it, she had one of the most popular rigs on the Internet, and um, I just, I'm so grateful to be in this home. So it's not that the, it needs, you know, it's falling apart or anything. It's just when you, you move in, you just got a lot to do. And so I've, uh, Robert's been here and he, he's leaving this weekend and we'll talk more about that in a minute. But um, we've done uh, new electrical, um, put up uh, new uh, AC electric and 12 volt outlets, moved my batteries over from Fancy Free because we'll talk about Fancy Free and uh, she'll be going um, down the road without me uh, and we'll be talking about that. And uh, uh, I'm looking here in Pearl. I'm going to be showing uh, the dishes tonight. I didn't get a picture to you today, so I'm glad you're on here. Um, but I just saw something, uh, and I, now I can't find it again. Oh, my gosh. You guys are, I love all the comments. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Pam is on here tonight. Pearl is on here. Lori. Um, and, um, yes, Lori, that's part of what I'm doing is, is making it mine. And um, we've had to do everything from, you know, I'll show you some pictures here in a minute 
of uh, working on fans, working on the nature head, and installing the fan on it, securing items, you know, because I've moved items in and it's different than where Tiki it had them. And so um, we're having to uh, lock things down so I can travel without having to move things all the time. And uh, yes, and, uh, Brenda, Lou, Brenda Lou says, um, look how, uh, look at she, um, Brenda Lou says, look how adorable, and see there it, oh, it's not showing up. I don't know why. Um, uh, the note, the comment's not showing up. Um, let me see what, what's happening here. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can fix it or not, you guys. I may not be able to do comments tonight, so we just won't do comments tonight. I mean, I'm going to do comments, but I won't be able to put them on the screen. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, she said, doesn't Bandit look adorable with his new haircut? And, and he really does. So, um, I'm, oh, and Lisa is on here. Hi, Lisa. I hope that you are feeling good. Lisa's had surgeries after surgeries after her um, uh, uh, car accident. So I'm going to try, let me see. See, it's just, it's not showing up. And um, I'm going to try one more thing to make these comments show up. Hold on, you guys. I, I love this software, but I tell you, it's a, it's a little bit, um, it, sometimes it's hard to, it, let's see. If, uh, I'm just going to grab a comment and see if I can get it, get, um, uh let's see wow so your giveaway ten thousand dollars we did it so cool hope you win okay so here's uh, i did forget to talk about the giveaway rick thank you so much <laughs> um i i am going to be doing it's kind of hard to work with you know how it is when you you have a baby and you got to carry the baby everywhere and then you got to eat and everything and it's so hard but to celebrate uh ten thousand uh subscribers it, bandits want this, but I'm going to give away, I'm going to do two drawings this weekend from the Super Chats, and so whoever does Super Chats tonight, either here on YouTube or through PayPal, I'm going to do two drawings this weekend, and I'll be giving away my two books because my third one is coming out. Um, I've been working on getting moved in and everything, but it, it's almost finished, and uh, it's coming out, and so I'm giving away two books to celebrate uh, my 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys very, very, very much. And uh, if it's buff, somebody's saying it's buffering and I'm sorry, I, I can't do anything about it. I wanted to show y'all. So I did this before the, uh, took this, uh, took this speed test before the live chat. And as you can tell from that speed test, I, it's it's rocking here. I, I've got good speed and good internet, so I'm not sure why why it's buffering. Um, but I can't do anything about it. It's it's I don't think it's on my end. So um, anyway, m maybe try refreshing and all and everything, but I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. So I hope to uh, have a lot of people in the drawing to give away my books because it's so exciting. And thank y'all for all the well wishes on the um on my um having so uh, 10,000 subscribers so i'm trying to hold bandit read comments and work this new software and chew gum and walk and talk and and uh, so if i sound a little scattered uh, that that's why <laughs> and um it it um 10,000 uh rick says oh bummer i'm not giving away ten thousand dollars i wish i had that kind of money rick if i did have that kind of money i i would be that generous i promise uh but but i don't <laughs> so um I, I wish i could but so um I, one of the things brenda whitlock had asked has robert gotten his van repaired did my ac repairman come and hopes that i'm having a good day and so, uh, Robert, he, he keeps having trouble with his van, uh, but uh, and, and the AC repairman did come. And so, I'll talk about the repairs on my new rig and everything first. And then we'll come back and talk about Robert's van and what he's doing and he's leaving. And then also, um, who I sell fancy free to. But first, let's, uh, for the, uh, did my AC repairman come? Yes, he did. Can y'all make that out? Can y'all see that picture good enough to tell what is what they're doing? <laughs> the, a, the air conditioner on here. Okay, so first of all, both my dash, my engine AC, and my bandit. What are you doing, honey? He's trying to go to sleep, you guys. My the engine on my AC, on my the engine and the rooftop AC has is is having trouble. Actually, the engine on my 
AC is out. But I think that can get it fixed. But the rooftop AC is intermittent. And she's so old. You guys, they can't, they're going to have to, I'm going to have to have her replaced. But look, can y'all see what they're doing? It's so old that <laughs> they're passing duct tape to each other. And one's reaching up in there and fixing and get it, my air conditioner with duct tape until my new air conditioner gets here and so I just thought that was funny and I, I asked them if they didn't mind if I, I took that picture but hi Lola is on here and Chantel New and, and Lori you're on here I also got Lori War and Lori Smith my, I, I have the, the best mods in the world I don't even know if, do I have uh, oh I do looky there I have the awesome mods thank you guys very 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 much Margie is on here, RV Ashes in April, Deborah Van Zant, and uh, Stony Chicken, Jenkins, bam, just like that. That's too funny. Um, so I just had to share that with you. And so they are working on my rooftop air conditioner. I'm going to show y'all again. Can y'all see that duct tape? <laughs> I don't know if y'all can or not. <laughs> but um, so, and, and then I have a mobile mechanic that comes out and he has been working on the carburetor and everything but I wanted to show y'all the picture um, of course that's him working on my uh, RV but look at his truck that he drives is not is that not the coolest truck it's a 56 Chevy and I just he, he's just so, I just meet the neatest people and I just loved his 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 truck I was uh, Stoney Jenkins thank you for that super chat I really appreciate that and, and uh, thank you very much. Good soul. I appreciate that. What fun. Thank you. So we have I mean, we have one person in the running for the drawing. And we'll see. Um, you may win both books, Stoney. And that'll be okay, too. Um, so I my, my phone over here is trying to do face ID. Do y'all have that on your phone? I hate it. It, it, it never recognizes my face because... Um, you want down, buddy? Let me put him down. So it never recognizes my face because I look different all the time. And so I don't, it's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do on my phone and show you guys. But, um, no, it's not going to work. So I won't be able to do that. So if you, if you do a super chat tip tonight through PayPal, I won't be able to track it because my phone doesn't work recognize me right now i just don't even like that face id thing uh I, I, i'm sorry i got a super chat from Lori too oh I, i'm not seeing it it's not showing up over here oh good um thank you robert it's not i don't know what you're showing me there's nothing there oh <laughs> he's trying to show me something oh good Lori war thank you so much I don't know why it's not showing up on my end, uh, but thank you, and I, I love old trucks, too. So we got two people in the running, and um, and so I've been working on all these home improvements, and of course, Robert is here, and like I said, he's leaving this weekend. My glasses are always crooked. He's leaving this weekend, and um, he has helped me with so much, and, and you know, and it's been a transition um, since I sold Fancy Free, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I had to get everything out of her, including my signs and my my old license plates and everything. Uh, you know, my friend Gina, she made this sign that was on my back door, grateful, thankful, blessed. And I just, I just love that. Um, and so I'm, I'm gonna find this, I think I'm gonna put it, let's see, <laughs> here we go again. I think I'm gonna put it over the door up here, up, right up there. I think that's where I'm gonna put that, we'll see. And then um, Robert's sister-in-law had given me a hook, and it's a bird hook, and he helped me put it on my shed. And um, so I just really enjoy that, and, and it was holding all my coats and everything in Fancy Free, but it's going to go on my shed behind me. I mean, um, my, my shed, and, uh, and I, I said behind me because I'm reading, and it, Beth says, the color cool behind you, I can't say that word, cool, but the color cool color behind you looks good thank you beth i like it too but it's way too bright for me and so i'm going back to the drawing board on my colors and um i will we'll we'll go from there and um uh, michelle brown says what are you going to do with fancy free i have sold fancy free and that's a topic that we're going to uh 
uh, talk uh, that I'm going to tell you about here in a minute. So let's keep talking about what I'm doing in my RV first. And oh, the other thing that I have is from my friend and patron Mary Jane. Uh, she uh, gave me a Longmire was one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, well, I guess it was on Netflix, and um, she gave me this. Uh, license plate from Longmire days in Jackson, Wyoming, or Jackson Hole, I think, Wyoming. And so I've got to find, I think they're all going to go on, on the bottom of my door here. I think that's what I'm going to do with that. And then, are you guys ready? Can y'all, y'all can see my uh, Beware of Squirrel sign that Lori Ward gave me. And Lori also gave me, look at these lights, you guys. They're, they're, they're not showing up too good in this picture. But Lori also gave me these squirrel lights. And she also sent me, because she's my coffee buddy, she gave me, uh, sent me an espresso coffee maker. And uh, Lori, I haven't had time to get back to you. It has been so crazy, but I, I'm going to. And I just want you to know that Robert made um, a, a, a cup of espresso in it today. And so, uh, Lori, Moore, I will be contacting you and we'll talk and, and go over all that. But I didn't get a chance to, to, chance to yet. And uh, also, you guys, look. Look at my new plates. Okay, they're white, but can y'all see the pattern in them? And they, 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 they have, uh, and, and the, I got different sizes. And these are from Pearl. Pearl, thank you for my wonderful housewarming gift. So my house is just scrumptious. I just, I'm enjoying everything about my house. And um, I even found a perfect place. I'll show y'all next week about uh, to put up my, you want Becca? To put my son's photo where I'm going to put what wall, oh goodness, what wall I'm going to put him on and everything, and I'll show that to you, but before I move on, um, I, I, it, y'all, y'all can't make, y'all maybe not can see that, let me take it out of the, um, let me, um, <laughs> let me put, um, this is a hair clip, I don't know if y'all can see that, I don't know how to get it, there, there, it's a hair clip, and I have one, I have two, and I had promised this one to somebody, and I can't find in the move and everything, I've lost my notes of who that goes to. So if you are watching, and I have promised you that hair clip, will you please email me and let me, and remind me of who, who it is, because I just can't, I can't find it anywhere. So, and I don't know if y'all all told me where you're logging on from, but if you would uh, let me know, I would appreciate it because I'm seeing lots of people on here and I, I don't know where all of you are. Um, so, uh, thank you again, everyone, for all of my wonderful housewarming gifts and I've gotten gift cards, um, Amazon and Starbucks, and I'm just very grateful for that and thank you and Bandit got like his new little bow tie collar and uh, we're just... We're, we're very blessed, and I just wanted to share some of that with you guys. So um, let's let's jump over to viewer questions because you guys have been rocking it this week. Y'all had a lot of questions and have shared a lot of uh, stuff um, with me, and I, I want to jump into that. So have any of y'all seen this alligator video going around? You know, I have a, a, a video of... Um, of, of an alligator that we saw when I was in um, Alabama with my friends Chuck and Letty, but we drove over to Florida to see uh, an, our, another viewer, Linda Bu, at Bu. I always say her last name a little wrong, and uh, saw an alligator while we were visiting with her. Well, this is Derek's alligator. He he lived across. He lives across the street from Chuck and Letty's house. And he did this alligator video, and it has been all over the internet. It went viral. And I don't know if you guys remember Derek or not. He was in my video, 47 Days um, in uh, Self-Isolation, my 47 Days in Alabama with Chuck and Letty. I, check it out. This is Derek. He's in my video, and his video has gone viral. So uh, anyway, watch this, you guys. I'm going to show you a video. It's just, it's only like... Uh, three seconds I think watch this this is Derek the one that shot that viral alligator video that's all over the internet keep on keeping on keep on keeping on isn't that great <laughs> so when you see that viral video you know who Derek is 
Um, I don't. I don't know. Did did any of have any of you seen it? Oh, look at you guys, Michigan. Um, hang. Okay, Bandit. You got to make up your mind, buddy. It's like when parents tell their kids, in or out, in or out, up or down, up or down. Uh, so let me see if I can catch up. Tanya's in Oklahoma. Deborah's in Michigan. Uh, South Carolina. Look at you guys. Illinois. This is such fun. Uh, Tennessee, North Carolina, Maryland. Uh, this is such fun. Kathy Ann is in Ohio. Way to go, you guys. Um, Let's see, who else? In Pennsylvania, Van, Van, Vangin Living says they are, uh, oops, sorry, I hit the wrong one. That uh, It moves so fast. Uh, Vangin Living says they're in Pe Pennsylvania, but leaving for Florida. That's uh, gonna be a long trip. Elaine is in Arizona. Hey, another person is in, uh, Life is Short, Make It Sweet is in Nevada, where I am. And I do, um, uh, do drop in is saying, do you still have your COVID braid? I do. That's it right there. <laughs> uh, Joni's in North Carolina. That's so fun, you guys. Um, I, might, I, I may have missed some of you, and if I did, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I appreciate y'all checking in and letting me know where you are. Oh, it's, uh, Best of Moon's still in Ohio. Anne says she didn't see an alligator. Let, uh, let me see if I can find that picture again. Um, where, where did it go? Hang on. Um, okay, so this is the viral video that is all over the internet. It's been on the Weather Channel. It's been Fox News put it up. It's been on Google put it up on their news, on their news feed and everything. And it's just my friend, um, or, or, uh, um, the neighbor across from uh, where I was in Alabama and he was on my video and that he got this huge alligator crossing the street and and it's just gone it's gone viral everywhere so um, it, it, that that was quite fun oh Noonie 57 thank you so much uh, gave me a super chat tip so that's three tonight and um, it was fun to go along and look that's from Tennessee Thank you, Nini57, and I'm, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that, that video of, of me out doing property searches and all the, uh, the work that we put into researching it and, and everything. And let's see, it's, uh, Bertrell is on here. Oh, the UK, awesome. We have, uh, I always love to see the people on, from the UK and Australia and all over the world that are, that are on here. That is, that is fantastic. Let me see if I can catch up. Um, I'm always saying that. I, I had somebody tell me, say, you know, you are, you shouldn't do live chats if you can't stay caught up and, and you can't, and saying hi to everybody and everything and get, get so mixed up. And I was like, oh man, they don't know me at all because squirrel is my middle name. <laughs> and I don't think much is ever going to change around that. Uh, let's see. What is one of our, oh, here we are. Oh, let me turn that one off. Uh, uh, so, um. Brenda says, uh, what made me choose Nevada for a home base? And I've had a lot of people that have asked me that. And um, I am in the middle of the desert, and I'll talk about that. But what I thought was funny was uh, uh, Lori C. says, somewhere is better than nowhere. Isn't that a great, I love that line. So thank you guys, both of you. But um, it, that was after I put up my property search video. And, I, you know, I know... It, it, a lot of people are like, why on earth are you in the Mojave Desert in the summer with triple digit uh, temperatures? And so I just wanted uh, to, to say that I, you know, everybody's got to be somewhere <laughs> and somewhere's better than nowhere. And after the COVID scare and getting stranded and, um, and then I, I wanted a home base and I thought that I would come here and get inexpensive property through the auction. And if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. Um, and, and, and getting property didn't work, but I found this wonderful RV park and uh, in an RV park that is uh, very inexpensive. And they let me put up a shed and, and do all kinds of things uh, that a lot of RV parks don't. And, it, and it's remote and for safety reasons, I'm not gonna tell you uh, where it is, but um, 
in response to the uh, Rhyolite Nevada ghost town video that, that I put up, first of all, I want to say Garden Genie, thank you for recognizing the humanity of the people that used to be in that desert town and uh, for the shout out on the, um, the, the talk that I gave at the end of that about, about the people. But, um, it, it, um, and I thought it was her that also asked and it wasn't, so I got that mixed up. Let me see if I can find it. Now, anyway, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So Pat asked, um, uh, would you mind telling us what the long-term campground where you're staying there in Nevada costs? So that's where I was. I got those mixed up. Sorry. So I pay two twenty a month, and I have full hookups, uh, water, electricity, um, sewer, uh, trash. Uh, there's a laundromat on site and everything. And so since I didn't get the auction property, I I um, I, I went that route, and um, I just love it here. And um, <laughs> uh, so I I that was a long one. That was a long way around to say a lot of why I chose Nevada and the desert as as my um, as a home base. I gotta get something to drink, you guys. I talk a lot, and um, Barton Genie is on here, and, and she says that was the coolest video of the old town. Well, I appreciated your comment, Garden Genie. That's why I, I featured it because I really appreciated you understanding about the people that used to live there and um and lori thank you for putting that that link up i, I appreciate my mods very much in uh, the video about uh, not buying property so um i got myself a little confused just now I, i'm trying to read comments and talk and drink water <laughs> at the same time oh by the way do y'all do y'all like my um y'all like my cup did I lose connection again? Are y'all still there? It said connection lost. I'm not sure. I'm not going to do anything till I see um, if the connection's gone or not. It says finish. I don't want to hit finish. Um, if I'm still if I'm still here, y'all let me know. I, my software keeps telling me I'm dead. <laughs> Not me personally. We're talking about ghost towns. I probably ought to use different wording. <laughs> but my software keeps saying lives over. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for flying with us. And it's like no, it's not over. <laughs> So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I, hey, I've got 89 thumbs up. Thank you, guys. There's 150 of you on here. So if you'd hit that thumbs up for me, it really does help. It helps, it helps YouTube promote my channel, which helps my channel grow. And uh, we, can, we can keep doing um, more fun things. Garden Genie says she needs one of these cups. It is so cool. Robert got this for me. He went to the store this week, but, and I didn't go into town. And um, it... it this is all gel stuff in there inside and it you put it in the freezer and it and it makes its own ice and um anyway <laughs> it's just the best i just love it because i have a big freezer now and i can do this okay you're all giving me thumbs up that you're still here awesomeness so the other thing that i wanted to say about <laughs> squirrel the other thing that i wanted to say about why i chose nevada as um in the desert as my hometown is for me i had to be somewhere close to my specialist and las vegas has a lot of uh, uh specialists for neuro and um and then it doesn't have state income tax which I, on disability i don't have to worry about too much but it was a factor and i needed somewhere that was quiet so i can't live in like cities or anything but i have to be close because of my medical needs and so there was just a lot of, of reasons of uh, choosing a, a Nevada. I was already um, established here uh, with an address and my mail forwarding and everything. And so, the, and the, not to mention the, the, the weather. And uh, oh, and Robert is telling me that I got a PayPal um, uh, from uh, Lori War. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry, I miss, I missed putting some uh, Lori a while ago on the screen, and I, I feel bad about that. Um, I'm still learning this software. And y'all weigh in. What do y'all think? Is, is it too 
that I got some feedback that I, you know, I'm, I'm like nuts and people, people either like listening to my live chats or they don't. And if they, if you don't, then, then don't listen. But you know, people are like, you're too, you're too whatever over the top or you're too scattered or you're too squirrel. And, and then I also got people that were saying my, the, the, um, the, the software is too distracting. It's fun for me. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy it and I get to do things like I keep doing that every time y'all do a super chat tip. I think I'm behind, but I'm going to do it one more time because I'm behind. Like also put up pictures and, and your comments and everything. And um, I enjoy the software. It takes a lot of work to get it set up ahead of time. But um, I, if it, you know, I'd like some feedback too of whether or not y'all um, y'all y'all are enjoying it. So I um, Nana's Joy. Well, hello there, Nana's Joy is on here. It's good to see you guys. I met them at my first annual meetup. Um, this this year is going to be if we get to hold it. Depends on how COVID goes. But um, I met them at my first annual meetup and. Um, Oh, wait, no, maybe my second. Oh, my goodness, I can't even remember. Um, and so it's good to see you guys here, and they want to know if I'm going to travel sometime during the year. Yes, I got a rig that I can travel in, and I've been busy. Uh, Robert's been helping me get her road ready and getting everything battened down so that I can um, uh, uh, travel at will. And uh, I'm going to lay low for a little while uh, this summer, but I've got lots of great fun things coming y'all's way on my channel so um Lori, Lori smith says over the top heck no thank you because i get really slammed after my live chats it, 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 it you have to put some thick skin on to to do youtube and put yourself out there because um that you know be, be, some people aren't kind and uh, look at this St pappy thank you still tent adventures he also goes by pappy <laughs> and um and and brenda lou i love you guys too thank you y'all y'all are so sweet and joyce selby is giving me kind words and 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 thank you i appreciate that i i the people that i care about are on here and I, that's why i wanted your feedback feed feedback and um so ann is saying what does your t-shirt say well robert and i went out and about the other day i don't know if y'all can see i found my I'm, I'm like crooked i found my people at area 51 i don't have a neck now but i found my people at area 51 and that just fits right in with what we're saying and i just i was like oh my god these people are people around here they're they're my kind of people they get wackiness and and so, anyway, uh, so I'm glad that uh, y'all are on here and you're giving me feedback. Thank you. Because, uh, and Island Girl says she's lived all over the world. Love Nevada, Nevada. Best wishes for you in Nevada. Thank you. I'll still be traveling and I'll still be doing um, boondocking. I won't be able to go to the remote Netherlands that, uh, you know, uh, Fancy Free went to. But it's okay. It's, it's all good. And... Um, um, I, I, I'm, I'm ready for, uh, uh, to give some of that up for the comfort creatures of a shower in this beautiful home. And, and I'm so, I, that wall behind me is just killing me because it's way too bright for me. I got to put, I, I just, I had no idea what I was doing and, and I shouldn't have messed with it because I love the neutral and, and, and what Tiki had done with it from the beginning. So I'm going to be painting that white in, in, in. Uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Let me see if I can catch up to where I'm at on my questions. I think I've already answered these, but let me see. Oh, so um, uh, two questions is what Pat had. The first one was, are you and Robert back together again? And so I am, I'm going to, um, I, I, here's the thing about this, and, and I'm, I'm, oh, going to probably stammer around and everything because it's um it's really hard when you're on the internet and you're a public figure and you put your life out there and um and and, and you're sharing your life and you're doing daily vlogs and and um it, you know and you and i believe in being transparent anywhere in any aspect of my life and then you also there's your private life you know that you want to keep to yourself and uh, so I, I decided, and I didn't decide this until about an hour or two ago, how I was going to handle that. And I am, with that, I am just going to say that for Robert has been in my life 
for the last four years. We met in the summer of 2016. And every time you, I turn around and am in need or have something to celebrate or am having difficulty with something, the person that is always there and ready to pick me up and ready to celebrate the most with me and, and ready to travel across the country if need be for whatever my needs might be or even just to be with me, that person is Robert Witham. And he is leaving this weekend and has been with me here. He came here in the heat of the desert. Uh, he, he has AC in his van, but he, uh, he came here to help me. And I can only say that I am blessed by him and that I love him. And when he leaves, I am going to miss him so much. We have different traveling needs. We have different uh, needs because of our different brain injuries. He has a traumatic brain injury. I have a traumatic brain injury and sometimes they are opposing. But I will just put it out there that I love him and I can't imagine life without him and he is welcome in my camp anytime. And I'm probably embarrassing him because he didn't know I was going to say that. But as far as whether Robert and I are getting back together or not, I, I can only say that I don't know that we've ever um, been apart. It, you can't you can't leave somebody that you love so much. And I know a good thing when I have it. I hope that answers your question because you now know as much as I do. <laughs> okay, so um, there you go. Robert says he's blushing. So um, uh, let's see what else. I was looking at the camera because I wanted you guys to know that I was uh, uh, so sincere about that. <laughs> and then I I said comfort comfort creature did i say that i don't know why i would have talked about a comfort creature Lori. i don't remember saying that i don't know what what that is so uh, yes area 51 is in nevada and it's it's called uh and they're uh, they they like the aliens you know they they don't know what goes on in air, air, air area uh 51 it's so it's really interesting oh meanderings magazine because that's the name of his GPS. <laughs> and when I first met them, I was calling Irene, his wife, Jane. I was like, Mark and Jane, Mark and Jane, he, he didn't know. He, he was like, uh, it's not Jane, it's, it's uh, my wife's name's Irene. <laughs> so that is too funny. All of my cousins are on here. Uh, Michael and Cindy McLester are my cousins in Texas. And, um, uh, I, I love you guys. Thank you for being on here. And um, I, I, uh, I don't know if I keep hitting something or, or what, but um, I, 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 it keeps telling me that I'm offline, and, I, and I'm not offline. And um, <laughs> Pappy says, would you, Robert, would you fix YouTube? Robert needs to get out there and fix YouTube. They, they got issues. <laughs> if anybody could, he, he, he could do it. And... Um, so um, I'm trying to catch up, and uh, so now it is. Let's go to a band, an update on Bandit. You guys got to see him earlier, and he just he he loves his new haircut, and um, it, and I'm I'm so proud for him, and he's just doing so good. And here's some of the area where we get to go walking out here, you guys. This is what my backyard looks like, and um, isn't it? Uh, isn't it lovely? I just, um, I'm very, very proud, and, and Bandit is doing so good. As you can see on that picture, he's on a loose leave, and um, he just continues to do well. He's, he's kind of poopy tonight, and I got to looking at it, and it's because I didn't, he's used to getting fed around 5.30, <laughs> so he went, the reason he was like up and down, up and down, and want, want being poopy while he goes, because he thinks it's time to it, it is time that he should be fed, but he'll be okay. He's not going to starve, trust me. And um, that, ben, so I believe you say this, Rue Ru Chat, Ru Chat says Banda is Deborah's comfort creature. And that is true. He's, he's, my, he's my little travel buddy. Um, and yes, uh, that, that, I, I love it out here. A lot of people don't like the desert, but to me, it's, I'm going to put that back up one more time so you guys can see it. I, I just think it's so beautiful, and and not only is it desert, but look at 
and, and that sunset, it got really gorgeous after that, that clip was taken. But um, so the sunsets are gorgeous. And look at the mountains. And just just to the left of that picture, and you can't really see it, but just to that to the left of that picture, there's a, there's a mountain that still has a little bit of snow on it. So I'm out here in the desert in in triple digits, wa walking my dog and looking at a snow-capped mountain. And so I I just love it. And I'm only 30 minutes away from a forest if I wanted to go. And uh, so I'm I'm very very happy with this home base and I'm already getting ready. I'm like almost jonesing because I'm not traveling right now, but the whole country is, is everything's different for everybody. I know it's, it's loosening up a little bit, but everything is, um, is different. So, um, I'm, I'm very blessed to be here. Um, and, um, oh good. Lori Ward says she hopes to get out that way ASAP. Awesomeness, Lori, we got to talk. And uh, I'm glad that you guys are in, enjoying uh, that that picture. And um, there there uh, there are snakes here, but they're they're not like everybody says. I've I've been um, uh, Stoney Stoney Jenkins is talking about snakes, and and I, I would I wouldn't kill them anyway. Oh look at this, you guys, Cardies. Thank you so much. A virtual soda together would be fun. I would love that. I, I don't do sodas anymore. I, I, I can't. And um, I, I mean, I, I would like to, but I, I have that I, IPA, does EP, EPA? I don't know what I have. Something anyway. I can't, I can't do sodas and carbs and, and cream and stuff like that anymore. Um, but yes, I, we, I, Pardis, we'll figure out something. And thank you so much. That is so sweet. Um, but I, and, and so go, going back to snakes, I have been out here on the road full time in Fancy Free. We're going to talk about Fancy Free here in a minute uh, for um, uh, five years, 24-7. And you guys, I have yet to see a snake. Now, Robert has and other friends have, and I know they're here. In fact, a patron and friend, Colleen, got, got bit. And, um, it, you know, they're out here, definitely. Uh, but it, 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 it's not like people think. It's not like the desert is crawling with them. And, you know, there's also scorpions. And, and by the way, if you see a tarantula, please be nice to it and let it live. People are so scared of tarantulas, but they eat bugs and mosquitoes and everything that we want them to. So uh, y'all be nice to, to uh, tarantulas. But anyway, snake, snakes aren't that bad. So that's the update on Bandit. Let's see what else I have next. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about has Robert gotten his van repaired? So uh, his van is not repaired. And a lot of you have guessed that, yes, I sold Fancy Free to Robert. And uh, because uh, his, I just love this photo. I was in there cleaning the heck out of Fancy Free to get it uh, to get her ready for Robert because he is moving into Fancy Free. And uh, he came over and he, he's, he's like, hey, Deborah. And I'm like, what? And I come crawling over to see what he wanted. He took, he took a short clip. And so that, that picture is from me cleaning um, Fancy Free and, um, and the day that um, I, I got all of my stuff out of it. And it, it uh, Fancy Free is officially Robert's because, you guys, I, I feel so bad for him. His, his van died. I, it, 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 it's, it's got issues and he might repair his van later down the road. Um, it, it is reparable, but um, it, right now he needed he needs to go to Wyoming and be with his family and he needs to be able to travel without having to worry about his van breaking down and leaving him stranded. And he's done most of the work on fancy free. And um, so to, to answer that question about who gets fancy free, and saying goodbye to Fancy Free, uh, that she goes to Robert, and he, he has purchased her, and I'm so glad. And, um, and yes, that means I'll get visitation rights. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it, five years, I, I had to take a moment the other day, and I went and I sat in her, and I took, y'all might think I'm corny for doing this, but I took, um, I took my Nonikins pillow of my dog, and I took my little stuffed animal of, of my of ba uh, Bentley, and I sat in there, and I thanked Fancy Free for the five years of, of wonderful memories and all the people that I have in, in my life because of her, and 
I really believe I, my life was saved because I moved into Fancy Free. She, she got me through uh, the illness until I could get on the Aricept and, and get my life back. And, and um, you know, all the memories of traveling with Bob Wells and, and Jamie Dimon and all the people I've met and all the states I've been and uh, the back roads and, and the camping and the, it, it, she's just a beast. And it was one of those things that for a moment, I was just like, oh my God, you know, my fancy free. And then I, but she's going to rob her. And it's like, it couldn't be more perfect. And I'm sorry, sorry, sorry that his van died on him. But it just, it couldn't be more perfect than, than for her to go to him and to now be of service to him and get him to his family and um, take care of him like she took care of me. And that's how I feel about it. And so I'm looking at all of y'all's comments, and um, it looks like you're thinking the same way. He was going to have to get something, and he already knows that rig inside and out. And so she's going to be his chariot, and she's going to get him safe and sound and get him back to me in the fall or winter, whenever he comes back through. And I'll feel really good knowing that she's in good hands and that he's on good wheels. And so, um, if for those of you that were guessing and wondering who Fancy Free might go to, if you guessed that she was going to Robert, you're, you, you're correct. But, I have to tell you, we did not know that until this week. It just all kind of fell into place. And, and um, I had other people that wanted to buy her and, um, and, and was about to start making those arrangements with somebody And when this came up and, and Robert um, uh, said, he, he, he wanted to buy her so I'm so great I'm so grateful and he'll let you know what he's going to be doing with old gray which is what he decided to name his van the last week that he had it so I mean he still has it but you know the last week that he was living in it so what he's been doing all day today because he's getting ready to leave and I'm going to be so sad you guys I'm going to need y'all more than ever anyway he's getting ready to leave and so he's been moving into fancy free and um he, t he told me today that he's got about 90% of his stuff out. Doesn't mean it's, uh, you know, it's hard to move and, and set things back up. And and um, and, and so he, that's what he's been doing. And I'm sure he'll keep you all updated. And uh, be sure to check him out on his Patreon page. And, and he, he puts a lot of updates on there. And I'm still like, I'm, I'm, I'm like a... I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, but uh, yeah, it's like, she's gone, y'all, she's not mine anymore, and and yeah, she's gone to Robert, and, and can't get any closer to me than that, but um, she's not mine anymore, I, I don't have a single thing in her, she's, she's, I, I'm out of it, she's, she's all Robert's, so, um, and, and, um, uh, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda Whitlock says, no, this is kismet fate, and to quote Martha Stewart, a very good thing. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. And uh, Robert is joking and saying, uh, no more Deborah droppings. And it's because, you guys, I'm famous. Or um, anywhere, anytime I go visit anybody, um, you know, I always leave Deborah droppings behind. It's not as bad now since I'm on my Aricept. But before, it, it's like I just, I leave stuff everywhere. I even left a couple of things in um, Alabama, of course, and, and, and Letty was kind enough to, to forward it to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he already found a hat today that somehow got underneath the mattress, one of my, one of my visors. I don't know how. I guess it fell off the wall, and, and when I made up the bed and picked up the mattress and tucked the sheet in, I guess I tucked it in. But uh, he already came over and goes, here's one Deborah dropping. So I, I'm saying that I'm completely out of the van. I should be, and I, and, uh, I, I think I, I, uh, I, I, I probably am. So um, anyway, if you guessed Robert, you guessed right, but you probably were guessing before we even knew because we just figured that out uh, this this week. So um, I think that's it. Um, let's see, what is that? Oh, that's the picture of us. I, 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 that was also my weekly spotlight for this week. I kind of combined it. And um, if you guys have any questions for me, I'm, I'm happy to um, answer them. I don't know how long we've been on because the software tonight kept restarting. At 52. Oh, Robert just told me 52 minutes. Thanks, hon. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Pam, Pam, my good friend Pam, you guys have seen, 
I stayed with her at her house and in her lovely house on the lake. And um, she says, I'm glad you clarified the droppings. <laughs> yeah, Deborah droppings. That's what they're known as. Um, so uh, Lori's wanting to know if you have a wish list for, for your home, Robert. And uh, you guys stay tuned. I'm sure he, he will uh, let, let you know. And, um, and uh, he, but, but he, he's, he's not one to put himself out there. And um, so y'all send him all the love that you can. And I guess that's it. I um, I kind of blew through it tonight. And um, but but Fancy Free is no longer mine. She did stay in the family because she's with Robert, and I get to live in this beautiful home. And he gets to go see his family and get ready for the next issue of Meanderings, which I'm not going to blow it and tell you what it is. But I know where he's going and what our next issue of Meanderings is going to be. And you guys are going to be blown away. Let me, I'm going to grab that right quickly. Um, and so, hold on, you guys. This is the last issue. And I just absolutely love it. Can y'all see that? And that's the front. And then the, it wraps around to the back. And it is a very thick magazine of beautiful history and photos. And there, oops, we just passed my story. My story is in here because I always provide a short story. This one I wrote that is called "It's All in the It's All in the Name," but this magazine is full of beautiful pictures. But y'all wait until you see where he's going and what's up next. So I will be doing a drawing this weekend. I know I've lost track. I think we have five or six people in the running for my two books that I've written, and the third one is about to be published. And I'm very excited about it, and it's very appropriate um, for the time that we're in now, and I can't wait to share it with you. Oh, I do. This is kind of off topic. I'm sorry, but I'm going to share something with you. I, um, I, I can't do math any, since my brain surgery and uh, brain injury. I can't do math anymore, and I can't read books. Like, like really, seriously, you guys, I will write a book. But I have uh, friends and family that edit it for me because I can't, I can't even go back and read and recall enough to write, read what I've written. I can read like short article, articles and I can read things on uh, like Facebook and, and news, but I can't even read like news articles and stuff anymore. I, I just, I can't remember from back to the beginning. But I have been doing so much better on my Aricept. I am going to order a book and try to, try to read it. I, it's a... Um, Glennon Doyle's, um, oh, now I can't remember the name of it. Um, shoot, I can't remember the name of it. But it's a very popular book right now, and, I, and a lot of my friends are reading it. And, and so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to read it. And we'll see. Y'all keep, y'all, y'all wish me luck. I don't know whether I'll be able to read a book or, yet or not, but I, I, I try every day to do math again, and I still can't do math. But I'm going to try to read. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Um, let's see, what else? Um, did I miss anything? Um, uh, let's see. I guess that's it, you guys. I'm, I'm seeing comments, but I, uh, I can't, oh, um, Mikey B says, have I ever tried an audio book? Uh, audio is too much in a uh, traumatic brain injury in TBI land. Um, that's called flooding. And if flooding is different for everybody that has a brain injury. But for me, the audio is, I cannot do it. In fact, I can't be, um, if I'm with a lot of people and there's a lot of conversation going on, um, it can trigger an episode for me trying to track that. So I have to be very careful with audible input of any kind. And, um, oh, looky here, Stephen Beverly, my friend Stephen Beverly from Dallas. Hi, you guys. I love you. They're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and have been uh, my good friends for 40-plus years. And um, so if I'm missing something, um, um, and uh, let's see, um, I think that's it. Um, oh, uh, oh, so... Uh, Robert says that someone has asked, how am I dealing with 100 um, plus uh, uh, heat? Oh, yes, and, and, and Lori, my wonderful mod, 
one of my wonderful mods is reminding me that I didn't do what's up next. So I'll do I'll do I'll answer that right quickly. So part of my brain injury is that I um, my thermal regulator. Um, actually it's not from the brain injury in the brain surgery which it, the doctors didn't do anything wrong it's just a result of, uh, of the brain surgery my, my thermal regulator doesn't work anymore and so I have to do my own um, uh, temperature regulation I can't get too hot or too cold um, and if I go swing one way or the other uh, my body can't pull out it's like a plane once it gets in a certain nose dive it, it can't pull out anymore and so I have to be really careful. And so uh, I guess somebody has asked how I'm dealing with the 100 plus heat. <laughs> air conditioning. <laughs> if the air conditioning goes out, it, it would be life-threatening for a lot of people. But if the air conditioning went out, it would be very life-threatening for me. And um, so um, my, my um, trustee has made sure that I have um, some money put back in case I have to make a, a mad dash for a hotel or something. My glasses being crooked is driving me. But um, anyway, so um, and it also I'm acclimating because when it gets down to 80, I put on a hoodie. <laughs> I felt so stupid the other night. It was like 80 degrees and it was after dark and we were sitting outside and I had to come in and get my, get my hoodie. <laughs> so I'm becoming one of those out here. Y'all y'all pardon the French, but they're called damn desert dwellers. DDD. So DD is a damn desert dweller now. I'm, I'm like DD and DDDDD. Lots of D's. <laughs> um, so, um, let's see what else. Um, um, let's see. Uh, oh, Beth, Beth also asked about the, the, the heat. Not, I don't see who originally asked, but I hope that answers your question. And oh, and, and Pam says she can't wait for my new new book. That's so sweet. And Stephen Beverly, I love you much too. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I think. Am, are we? It's. Um, so. Um, and so some so what's next what's next is my new i don't mean this i started to say something that was going to sound really bad okay y'all I, I said a while ago how grateful i am for robert and so what i'm fixing to say is, is not a negative in any way but after robert leaves i'll have time to write <laughs> because between us doing all the home improvements and repair on the rig and and everything that we've been doing on my home and and again thank you robert um, we and then spending time together and 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 uh, just enjoying life and, and going to do anything fun. We've only been able to go do two two fun days. The rest has been all work. But I haven't had any time to write. So as soon as Robert leaves, the next thing is finishing my book. And uh, so I'm hoping to have it finished in a week, two at the most, because it's almost done. I only like a chapter and a half. And it's already outlined, and so what's next is is my book, and then I'm going to be still putting up videos, and I want another zero on my channel. I have ten thousand now, but I want a hundred thousand. <laughs> so you guys, that's it. I love y'all to. Oh, that's sweet. I love you, love you to the moon and back to Janie Roy, all of you, and um, I yes, and uh, Lori says just think how comfy my new home will be. Just sit back and relax. And yes, and I'm at my desk right now. I have a desk and I have a beautiful pine tree and birds and everything outside my my window to um, to, to look at while I'm writing. It's just a dream come true. And I just, I couldn't be more blessed. And um, Steve and Beverly say, Robert, you are awesome. And yes, he is. And I appreciate everyone recognizing that and giving him a shout out for who and uh, uh, the person he is. And um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, good night, everybody. I think that's it. And I'm starting to, to kind of stutter, so I better hang up. And um, um, let's see. Is there something, uh, anything else? I think that's it. I will talk to you all later. Love you. Bye.